where we are. We are in the era of imperialism. It is an era of wars and militarism. Global military spending is at an all-time high, reaching 2,243 billion US dollars in 2023, feeding the greedy military-industrial complex. All the spending on militarization sinks our countries deeper into debt, sending us into an era of austerity. As military spending and debt payments come first, social spending is pushed farther back on the line. Education, housing, health, and public welfare suffer budget cuts or are handed over to the private sector. It is an era of corporate control. Everything is now in the hands of corporate overlord. Even our demands are being appropriated, such as our calls for climate action. It is thus an era of false solutions. Financial institutions such as the IMF and World Bank have co-opted goals like women's empowerment or gender equality to enforce false concepts of equality. In reality, this means equality to slavery, equal opportunity to be oppressed and repressed, and equal access to suffering. This imposition of false solutions goes hand in hand with attacks on those who advocate for genuine solutions. It is an era of anti-rights and anti-feminist backlash, a militarist backlash. It is an era of fascist authoritarianism. Feminists, activists, resistance and freedom fighters are labeled as criminals, as terrorists. But would these attacks stop feminist movements? Can this stop you from fighting for the kind of world where we want to be? And what do we want? We want recognition, respect, and equality for the most marginalized people with disabilities, the LGBTQIA+, people of diverse ethnicities, indigenous and rural peoples, the landless, and the Dalits. We want a safe world. We want a world where the right to our lands is protected and our right to self-determination is respected. We want to be in a world where we have equitable access to free education, free healthcare, and universal social protection. We want climate-resilient communities and environmental sustainability. We want agroecology. We want feminist food sovereignty. We want a world where workers, farmers, fisher folk, and migrants are not slaves but are the leaders in an equitable economic system. We want a world where the victims of the current system of oppression can finally be a world where justice reigns. Where we want to be is a feminist world built by our movements. It is clear where we want to be and we are determined to get there together. We will get there by learning from those who persevered before us and by developing new and creative ways to advance, such as learning new strategies applicable in this age of digital technology and social media. We get there by taking back the tech. We will get there by upholding the tried and tested strategies of movement building and international feminist solidarity and by fighting off all efforts to divide us. We will get there by ensuring each other's well-being through collective care. We will get there by making sure that we leave no one behind. Fellow feminists, comrades, we are witnessing the end of the era of oppression, the end of the era of patriarchy and the end of the era of imperialism. A new world is being created and we are the ones building it.